This is John Paul Wright. I'm coming to you from Tokyo, Japan, and this article here is called Fans Pledge Avatar 2 Swarm Following Clash with Amber Heard Movie, which we know to be Aquaman 2. And I hate this title. This took me like five or six times to get this right. It's kind of like a tongue twister here. What they're trying to say really simply is Avatar 2 and Aquaman 2 are coming out on the same day, and there's a lot of Johnny fans who don't like Mera and they're saying, we're going to see Avatar 2. We're going to swarm to see Avatar 2. I don't think I'm really seeing either one. But obviously, Avatar 2 being my choice if I had to pick one, of course. Let's see what they got. By the way, this is from Inside the Magic. And they do print some pretty negative things about Mera, or also known as Amber Heard. So that's interesting. All right, here we go. After over a decade of waiting, multiple setbacks, and debates over whether it will even go ahead, James Cameron's Avatar 2 2022 is slated to debut at the end of the year in a coveted holiday release slot. While fans of the Avatar franchise are hopeful that the release date is concrete, the December opening is also currently taken up by a controversial movie sequel, Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom 2022. Why is it a controversy? Well, you know, you're looking at her right there on my slideshow next to Jason Momoa. It's a controversy because of false allegations. Let's continue. As the current news of this movie clash dropped, fans took to social media to debate which they would be seeing, with many stating they would be avoiding a certain sequel due to one of its stars. We don't like the word star so much. Let's just say because of one of the people in it. And here's the first tweet that they publish. It's got kind of a very mainstream type feel to it because, you know, there's no strong opinion. They don't take a side and they ask a silly question, but I guess I'll kind of be asking that question too because I'm going to read it. Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom and Avatar 2 are scheduled to both release on December 16th, 2022. Will you be watching both? No, I won't be watching both. Probably neither. But like I said, if I had to take my pick, yeah, I'm going with Avatar. The revelation that both Cameron's sequel and the Aquaman 2018 sequel from director James Wan will drop at movie theaters on the same day sparked heated responses online with many film fans swaying towards Avatar 2 following the ongoing Amber Heard controversy. The Hollywood actress stars as Mera alongside Momoa as Arthur Curry, a.k.a. Aquaman. Then they mentioned this. Heard has actually been blamed for Momoa's divorce from Lisa Bonet. Now, that's unconfirmed, of course. However, the fact they mention it is a negative thing, and coming from inside the magic, well, you know, they've said some bad things about Johnny, but I'm happy to see a little bit more balance here. And here's the first tweet from this person. I mess up names, so... Shout out to you, dude. Everyone can see your name, but I'm not going to try it. I'm glad that Twitter collectively agrees to completely avoid Aquaman 2 as long as Amber Heard is in it and watch Avatar 2 instead come December 16th or just watch neither and just watch them fight it out at the box office, which I'll be doing. And Ryan says Avatar 2 doesn't have Amber Heard in it, so pass on Aquaman. Yeah, pretty straightforward. And Max says, nobody actually cares about Avatar, and Amber Heard is still in Aquaman 2. Alright, so I guess Max is uh, not liking either choice, which is okay with me. And they finish up the article with this here. There is a big question mark over whether Avatar 2 will actually land with audiences after having such a long departure from the pop culture conversation. But sometimes, a long wait can actually instill hype and anticipation in a project and some fans are likely clamoring to see just what visual effects an Avatar level of film 13 years after the original will deliver. And yeah, hey, if you like the series or not, I like the first one. I'm not saying I don't like Avatar. It's fine. It's not so bad. And the special effects at the time were pretty mind-blowing. So, you know, like I said, I would definitely, definitely, definitely take Avatar 2 over Aquaman 2. As for the Aquaman sequel, the first movie did a surprising billion dollar at the box office, meaning chances are high that this movie, despite Heard's appearance, 
will also bring in some big numbers. And sadly, that is probably what's going to happen. Not as big because, you know, Amber does have a lot of criticism after her. Amber does have a lot of people who do not approve of her and will not see Aquaman 2. But there is another crowd of comic book fans and people like that who just aren't really in on the details and just, you know, love the DC Universe and they're going to see it. And, you know, that's going to be that. It'll make some money from them. However, Avatar 2, being really close to it, will definitely bring it down just a little more than it would have been brought down if Avatar 2 had not been so close. You guys, of course, let me know what you think down below. Let's do some shout outs. Shout out to Witchy One. See you here all the time. Thank you. Shout out to Zach. Thank you so much for all the support. And shout out to Patty C. Thank you so much. If you're not subscribed here, consider it. I'm doing shout outs, special thanks, things like that. That first heard, pop culture. If you don't subscribe, well, I guess I'll be pretty sad. But I'll get over it. We're done here for now. See you next time. <laughs>